All right, here we are for uh, round two. This hand looks kind of sketchy, but if we draw a land, it should be all right. Huh. We need to draw two lands to really do anything. Two land hands are pretty hard, but this does look decent. Let's go ahead and keep it. Roll the dice. We have uh, three turns to draw another land, so we have a turn three play. Let's wish our opponent hello and good luck. And we get a swamp from the opponent. And we draw an action injunction, which would be nice. Uh, let's lead with the planes. We got more double white than uh, anything else, so let's pass the turn, turn back. And we get an island, which is odd. Probably uh, visit Rakdos. Uh, we draw a Drudge Beetle, which we don't have the mana for. Let's go ahead and play out the island. He didn't play anything, so we don't have a target for an action injunction. So let's pass the turn back. Uh, we get another island from the opponent. And a Rakdos Crackler. Alright. Better on turn one, but we've been dirtling, so it's probably just as good. Uh, we do draw a third land, which is great for us. So let's go ahead and play out the hover barrier. Hopefully he doesn't attack, play a mountain, and uh, auger spray it, but that'll be alright. A volatile rig. Alright. Uh, the hover spray will block that all day. And we get the turn back. Excellent. We draw an Azorius Guildgate, which isn't the greatest, but I think... Let's go ahead and play that out. We can in action injunction the Volatile Rig, which seems pretty good, but I think we're going to eventually arrest it, unless he plays something better. But he hasn't played a whole lot yet, so saving the arrest is probably better. And we need to draw land, so drawing a card is going to be fairly good for us. So let's go ahead and injunction the Volatile Rig and pass the turn back to the opponent. Uh, drawing a green source would be really great for us at this point. And we get a Slum Reaper. Alright, that is unfortunate. But... What can you do? Besides to kill the cackler, alright. And we get another Justice Shar, which will be pretty good for us. Let's go ahead and buy us some more times by playing one of the Justice Shars. Go ahead and detain both of his guys and pass the turn back. And we get a Celestia Guildgate. Excellent for us. Here I think just do the Justice Shards again and attack. And pass the turn back. Next turn we'll have, I guess, a Dredge Beetle. Oh, he gets a Rag, a Rage Mutt, which is good for him. And we'll take three, and he'll gain three life. And we draw another land, which is good. Here we can play the Skywatch. But then we are left with uh, no other plays. We can play a Drudge Beetle and an Arrest on... I'm not sure. Probably can trade the two Justice Shards for the Volatile Rig. So let's go ahead and play the Drudge Beetle here. Let us play the Arrest on the Rage Mutt. I don't want him gaining any more life. And we'll leave Swift Justice to take out the Slum Reaper. Yeah, so let's go ahead and play it a little defensively here. He is the aggressor for sure. And that one has to attack. 
and that one is coming in. Nope, he decides not to come in with that one. Let's go ahead and trade the Justice Shards here. Maybe he'll end up wiping the board, which would be alright. We have a decent comeback. He lost the flip, so everything wipes, and that one doesn't matter. Alright. And a spawn of Rick's Maddie. Alright. And we draw another land. Let us see here. Let's go ahead and play out the Skywatch. Leave up Swift Justice. And pass the turn back. We get a Splatter Thug. All right. And a Dagger Drum Imp. All right. Not looking too great here. We get a Knightly Valor, which is really good. Yeah, let's Knightly Valor up our guy. Let's leave our guild gates up to give us the most options in the opponent's eyes. And let's go ahead and attack. And pass the turn. We get a Void Wielder, which is unfortunate, but we get our Asperia Skywatch to play again, which will be pretty decent. And he bounces the Skywatch as expected, and comes all in. Uh, here I think we'll uh, trade with his, his Splatter Thug and gain 3 life. Take a whole lot more, but that's all right. And we get a Hussar Patrol, which is pretty good. But let's go ahead and play up the Skywatch again. Detain the spawn of Rick's Mahdi and pass the turn back. We get the turn back and we get another planes. Let's go ahead, go ahead and hold on to that, I think. Yeah, we have enough to play balls, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and play out the Axe Bane Guardian. And pass the turn back. We get an Augur Spree, which is unfortunate, but I knew he had one of those somewhere. And the opponent comes in. Um, we don't have good blocks. Let's play out the Hissar Patrol. Let's block here and here. And we get the turn back. We draw another planes. All right, let's pass the turn back. Comes in again. Let's chump block. And we get an Azorius Charm, which will buy us another turn. Let's go ahead and pass the turn back. And if we don't draw something good here, um, probably just concede and go to sideboarding as a fairly aggressive Rakdos deck. And he has another spawn, alright. We get a Sun Spire Griffin. Let's go ahead and concede here and uh, go to sideboarding. We want to be a little more defensive here. I think we want the Druid's Deliverance over the Axe Bane Guardian. We're not really ramping a whole lot. Didn't see any uh, stab wounds, so we don't need the Sundering Growth yet. Cancel should be pretty decent for us. Let us take out... Um, the Judge Beetle is pretty nice for us. Dramatic Rescue... 
just slows him down, but doesn't do a whole lot. And well, it gains us a life. What else can we take out? The arrow, I think we're going to want that. Swift Justice. Yeah, let's take out... Yeah, let's take out the Inaction Injunction. I think that's a little too dirtily for us. Let's take out a forest and put in an island. Since we're down... Well, no, let's put that back. And let's submit that and start game two. Uh, yes, we would like to play first. This hand isn't too great. We need a lot of blue. We don't have much else. So let's go ahead and mulligan. I think we can do better than that. This looks to be a bit better. If we draw planes, we should be really good. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep this. And let's start with the island and pass the turn back. It's, we draw planes, which is great for us. Uh, we don't have anything to end or to detain with the arrester, so let's go ahead and hold that. Let's play the planes though, and we'll pass the turn back. We get a dagger drum imp. All right. If we draw. All right, we draw an island. Uh, here, let's just use our mana efficiently and play out the hover barrier and pass the turn back. It'll probably attack anyways just to gain the life, which is fine. Hopefully we can draw another planes. There is a stab wound, which is unfortunate. Uh, okay. And we get Traumatic Rescue, which should be pretty good for us. Let's go ahead and play out the forest and pass the turn back. If he attacks, we'll have a blocker, and then I can Traumatic Rescue at the end of the turn to lose the uh, stab wound. And we get the turn back. Let's dramatic rescue. And we get a dispel, which will be good. Let's go ahead and play out the hover barrier again. Let's pass the turn back. Trying up planes would be really good for us here. Uh, getting that griffin out will be good, but uh, the rune wing should do a similar job next turn anyway. Uh, we get a Rage Mutt, which is unfortunate. And they both come in. Let's block the bigger of the two. And we get a Love Sky Knight, which is really great for us. Let's go ahead and play that. And we'll detain the Rage Mutt. And let's pass the turn back. Comes in with the uh, dagger drum amp, which is fine. And a desecration demon. All right. He has all the good Rakdos cards, that's for sure. And we draw another planes, which is great for us. But I think we need to play out. Yeah, I think we need to play out the arrester here. Arrest the demon. Uh, and hold up the spell. And pass the turn back. And the desecration demon. No, we don't want to use that. Those two come in. Let's go ahead and trade here and block there. And we get Spawn of Rixmati. All right. 
and we draw another land which isn't the greatest for us let's go ahead and put out the rune wing and pass the turn back no opponent decides to attack all right let us just block here and we'll take six draw a card we get knightly valor which will be pretty good for us and we get another planes don't have enough to do both of them so let's go ahead we'll play out the griffin No, we don't want to do that. And I think we chump, chump, block. And the next turn we'll have not a whole lot. This isn't looking too good for us, but we'll play it out. And the opponent comes in. With those two, all right. Yeah, let's throw away our hover barrier. Yeah, let's go ahead and take six again. Uh, it's looking pretty dire for us, but that's all right. And a stab wound. All right. It's unfortunate. And then volatile rig. All right. We get stab wound. And we get an arrest. All right. Still don't have enough to do both. Let's put the knightly valor here. All right. And then, no, we don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and attack with you. and pass the turn back and we get teleportal which we can't dispel which is unfortunate but that's good games to the opponent let's go ahead and concede and we'll see you guys in uh, round three hopefully we'll uh, get a win there